Hey guys, good morning. So today is Tuesday and I have an event tonight with CoverGirl that I honestly, I'm in no mood to be going to an event tonight, but I really just have to get myself moving, get myself going places because it's just been that type of a week and I'm just emotionally exhausted. Um, last night was a little bit of a hectic night too. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me post about it. I just, like, don't want to bring it up. Like, it's just kind of, like, it's in the past. We're going to let it go. You know, it's really horrible when you haven't filmed in a long time. And you literally... <laughs> um, I sat down and I looked into the mirror. Got close and I was like, oh, God. And I realized how bad my eyebrows were or how I was, like, not... Like, it's just bad. <laughs> and you don't notice that in like everyday life, like even in the bathroom mirror, like unless you get really close. But when you sit up close to do your makeup, like it's bad. What do you want? My kitty is meowing. What? I'm right here. What do you want? She wants to play with me. I keep like throwing things down the stairs and she like plays with them. I really have to be getting ready. I have a call in a few minutes. Oh gosh, I just tripped over a ball. Look, it's a toy. Boom. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I ended up doing my makeup. I tried a new foundation, some new stuff. I was planning on filming it, but then like someone called me and it just turned to just a really long conversation. And I was just like, you know what? I haven't talked to her in a while, so I went ahead and talked to my friend instead. But whoo, it's so hot up here. Um. I did my makeup. I decided not to do fake lashes today. Today is just not a fake lash kind of day. It just, just, just sounds like a lot. And I'm currently wearing my outfit. I'm wearing my heels. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit rainy, so I'm like low key a little concerned. Sorry, I have to like walk sideways on the stairs in my house because it's a little slippery in here. Um, but I need to decide whether or not the rain is a serious problem for me. Because it looks like it's a little cloudy. It was raining all day here and there, but it looks like it's over. So hoping that's the case. I actually want to go get food because I am feeling pretty weak, pretty unstable, but I have I have a bunch of stuff to do, so I have to get to New York. Um, so I need to get food. I need to I need to get something in my tummy, and so I think I'm gonna drive on over to somewhere and eat. I don't know where. I don't know. But I just like looked in our fridge and I don't really have anything. My closet's open. Sorry. I was like looking for an outfit and just this is what happened. <laughs> so I was thinking about this whole positivity because I actually just posted a video um, of like eight things I wish someone told me. And I actually got a lot of DMs of people saying like, you know, you're so brave and all that stuff and and a few people actually pointed out they said I can't understand how going through something like this like you can still be so positive um, and then the question was how do you stay so positive and I sat there and like the first thing that came to my mind was you know my faith and, and God and then I realized because today I was talking to my friend Lauren on the phone and she said that you know, positivity and being kind of in any moment, hard or like easy in life, you know, it's always a lot easier to be positive when everything's going great. And when things are going hard and it's like a rough patch in your life, it really shows your character and how, how you kind of go through that. Because usually those are temporary, but it's really just a test to see how how well you can get through it and she said that in every point you can choose to be grateful because there is a reason to be grateful in every moment and I was so inspired by her words I was like you are so right that is exactly you know just it's it's the mentality of being grateful that God has given you so much just in this moment and it's it's almost as if you know you can look at all the negatives. There's always something wrong, something going not the way that you want it to. But to think of just even the simple things, like you have sight, you are grateful for your sight, you are grateful for being able to hear, um, that you're awake, you're alive, you know? Just just 
the small things that you have certain people in your life just being grateful for those because problems that can be solved with with money aren't really problems and you can classify them them as like first world problems but but things that you can solve with money are solvable somehow one way or another but the thing is things that you can't solve with money because you can always make more money but things that you can't solve with money those are problems someone god forbid in your you know in cancer um losing a loved one or you know love in general or things that money can't solve those are problems those are problems that you should be worrying about and concerned about but if you have the basic needs your basic needs met then everything else is just a trial and a challenge and just testing how you can get through them because things will always be hard there will always be times in your life that it just feels a lot more difficult than you think it should be but if you come to a place where you are looking at a situation as if like this shouldn't be going wrong or this shouldn't be like this, then you're coming from a place of kind of entitlement as if like it's supposed to be going a certain way. But in reality, I think that if you trust in God and God's plan, you always, you should always be grateful because everything is working for the good and for the betterment and sometimes you may look at a situation and you're saying well this happened say you know i don't know what's a good example like um i passed out of a couple like days ago um when i was at the atm i passed out before getting into my car and i could have looked at that situation as wow so negative i got i passed out i wasn't I, you know, I, I wasn't feeling good or all that stuff, but instead I thought, you know, that protected me from something else that could have happened after. Maybe if I did get back into my car, maybe I could have gotten into a car accident. Maybe I could have, something else would have happened. Maybe I would have gotten pulled over by a cop or something. Like, something else, sometimes something that isn't good can protect you from other things. And as long as you focus on those good things, I think that you, there's always something to be grateful about and to just trust that God is carrying you through every season in your life and you can't just expect him to kind of give you a road map and tell you exactly why he's doing what he's doing for you because that's not how it goes. That's, that's not what faith is. Faith is knowing that even in the hardest of situations that there is a reason, that there is a lesson and there's a reason. Maybe it's, the reason's not even for you. Sometimes I'm sitting there and you know, I'm thinking like, wow, this is happening to me. This is like me, me, me. And then I realize that maybe it's actually for me to learn how to help someone else. Maybe someone else needed me to go through something like that in order for something to fulfill their life, some sort of lesson. I've just learned through trial and error that regardless of how much you think that God is not in the moment, he usually is. I have been praying so much lately and there have just been so many signs that I see pop up where I'm like, wow, God is so in this moment. Um, a few people DM'd me and said that after watching my, like they watched my video and right before they watched my video, they were actually praying so hard for a sign from God that he's still with them and that he's still there with them through battles. And a few of you said, they're like, you guys said that, um, like you're you you were that sign god used you as a sign for me and for someone to know that like to be able to tell me that i was assigned to just some random stranger is such a miracle because it reminds me that even in my own life i am strong enough to deal with whatever it is that comes my way and whatever it is that maybe people i know that need help in my life that if god could use me to help a stranger then i for sure can help someone that i love dearly in my life and not to say that I don't love you guys dearly I really do but it's kind of it's a little bit different trying to help somebody that you don't really know and uh, this guy's dog is sitting in his lap you sir you need to pay attention and drive not pet your dog but you have to really 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 um, sit there and recognize that 
you know, even though I'm helping a stranger and I love you guys dearly, it's a little bit different because, like, I've never met you. I don't know every single one of your problems. But when it comes to people that are close in my life, you know, I see things and, and I so terribly wish that I can help absolutely everybody, but that's just not the case in life. But to trust God and to know that he is working for the betterment of everybody, that's just a miracle. That is exactly what we need in our lives. And I am just unbelievably grateful. And yeah, that's, that's what's up. So I'm actually going to go get my salad now. My heart kind of hurts. I really shouldn't be going to New York, but I, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because um, the brown that's actually bringing me out gave me Uber codes to go there and back so I don't have to take any public transportation. So I'll be in an Uber going there, go to what I need to go to, and then I'll get back in an Uber and come back. And I just think that's, that's the best way to deal with this right now. But my heart really does hurt and I don't know why. I don't know if this is TMI, but I've been sweating so much lately. Like I literally would take a nap and I wake up like dripping in sweat. So I'd like shower and then like a few hours later I'd be like dripping in sweat again. I don't know what it is, but I've had to like stay super hydrated because I'm just like losing liquid out of my body like no other. And it's just insane. And so I'm just very confused of all my symptoms. I don't understand what's going on with me or what, but just going to trust God, be grateful. Life is good. We can, we're fine. Hey guys, we did the Puppet Girl event. Made friends. Hey, hello. Knowing that today I was going to see all of you, this is not how I look every day. My team is here, they can touch them. Cover girl team, where are you guys? Yeah, exactly. They can be like, she doesn't look like that. <laughs> uh, and so, with that, I feel like I'm going to be on the stage with a couple of girls. I'm going to have to step my game up. Uh, and so, with that, you get to create a different version of yourself. Let's all just take a moment. Let's just talk about how many beautiful people are here. Let's just talk about that, shall we? Let's discuss. Oh my, let's discuss. Let's discuss the beauty. Everybody stay hydrated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I serve you. Oh my god. Oh my god, thank you. That's what best friends are for. Good morning, you guys. So I just did a face mask. And I'm about to make myself some coffee and then go get ready because I have a blow dry appointment today that I have to go to. And then I have three events back to back. So we got to get our butt to New York. I don't know what I'm going to wear either. I haven't even thought about that because technically I have to be cocktail attire for like my last event. But all the other ones are kind of casual. So <laughs> what is Lena going to do? We'll find out. I'm using a makeshift tripod that like I used to make when I first started on YouTube. It's literally just boxes piled up so that you guys can see me and like it probably will shake if I move the table so I'm gonna try my best not to touch the table but I made myself some coffee uh, I love when I actually drink my coffee and it's still warm because typically I like do things and it's just it's all over the place Ooh, I got a text um that my credit card is due soon yay love getting those great reminders that I'm gonna be broke <laughs> I mean I love spending money I just hate you know having to pay for it <laughs> out of my own pocket okay so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do today with my makeup I need this situation figured out
right, so I finished the makeup. I'm still drying from everything that I put on to here. But I'm running a little bit late, um, like, to what I wanted it to be. Like, I, I in my mind, envisioned that I would have already left by now. Um, but that didn't happen, so that's totally fine. I just want to set my face really quickly because I just put, like, everything on. But I want to make sure I set it with some powder. My battery on here is dying, too. That's, that's just lovely. Um, but, yeah, so... What a day. It's going to be kind of insane. I had to redo my eyeshadow because I messed it up so bad, you guys. I decided to use like a new eyeshadow palette I had and it was fine. It was okay. Up until I decided to put like glitter, which is also like a new palette. And it just, it looked bad. It looked real bad. So I was like, nope, scratch that. And I started over and then I ended up getting eyeliner on my cheek. How does that even happen? Honestly, today's makeup situation was iconic. Iconic, okay? Can we just talk about how goals this entire bathroom is? This is so pretty. Here for Hometics Beauty. If I could just like live here, you know what I mean? Like this would be, this would be the, the best place. The best place for life. Right? Don't you agree? Just like New York City, everything is so perfect and ideal about this place. So I'm at the Home Medics event at the 24th Street Loft. I love this place. It's like my dream apartment. Like if I could just be like, this is my new apartment and move in, I totally would. It's like my favorite place. But I'm currently in the bathroom because I was kind of nervous to vlog out there. I just got my hair blown out. I'm literally obsessed with this apartment. Like I just... I'm literally like the, the video that I'm gonna post is gonna be like my apartment, my, <laughs> my new.
gonna be like I got home at like 10 30 oh, I'm so tired from the day it was a great day but like just so draining my feet are swollen so bad it's like insane and I hurt my wrist when I was getting into my car I was so tired that I didn't even have the energy at all like I was literally felt like I was gonna pass out at the end of the day so I just took an uber home because I was like there's no way I'm gonna make it into a bus and then like just it was that was not something that was gonna happen so I had him drop me off at the bus station I got my car and I went home um but I was just like drained drained you guys drained so I got home laid down and I haven't gotten up since <laughs> to be honest but it's been a crazy couple of days with just like a lot of events which is fun I've missed going to New York um but I think I'm gonna pass on the events I have tomorrow because I am just pushing myself way too hard I can't do this so I'm going to figure it out um, I think I have to get a blood test done and some other tests either this week or next so I might get that done tomorrow but you know I've I've just been pushing myself a lot lately and I'm gonna be honest sometimes it feels like you got to keep going like if you stop for a second like the world will fall apart you know like that's how you kind of at least maybe it's because I'm on the east coast but I don't know that's the mentality I have like I have to keep going and sometimes you have to take mental breaks even when you know you come back after a mental break and you feel like overwhelmed it's okay to take like a day or a minute to just like breathe and Uber just told me I have 30 minutes left to take a ride I heard he took my ride thank you so much <laughs> but what I'm saying is that it's okay to take time for yourself I think that sometimes we ignore our mental health for the sake of getting things done but at the same time I want to bring something else up is that a lot of times when people are like just overwhelmed and stressed and you know dealing with whatever it is with your mental health people refuse to get help you refuse to ask for help and i was like in a state earlier a few months ago where i was just like i don't know i like felt overwhelmed but i wasn't telling anybody i was feeling overwhelmed i just kept saying yes to everything and eventually i just like couldn't take it anymore but the thing is it could have easily been prevented and helped out if i just asked for help everybody is dealing with something everybody is going through something and every problem everything that you're feeling is valid and it's okay that you're going through that but just don't let yourself feel like that's how it's going to be forever because it won't you're strong you're capable and i believe in you so i love you guys and i will see you in my next video